So Rails has this folder inside app assets. And inside here you have JavaScripts, style sheets. And this is where you keep all your JavaScript files. The main file that you want to look at, you might have something like post.js. The main file is application.js. This is called your manifest file. There's also one for style sheets. So these are manifest files. These files specify which files will get combined and sent to the browser. So the whole point of the asset pipeline is to take all of your assets, combine them into one single giant file, and then send it to the browser. The reason that's useful is because HTTP requests are expensive. If we didn't do that, then we would send it to the browser one file at a time. So you might have maybe post.js. These would all be in script tags. We would have post.js, I don't know, users.js. I'm just making these files up. Each one of these would be in a script tag. Every script tag that the browser sees says, hey server, I need this file. And then your server's like, okay, here it is. And then the browser receives the JavaScript file, the text of that file. The more scripts tags you have, the more times that the browser has to ask your server, hey, I need this file, hey, I need this file, hey, I need this file. But HTTP requests are slow. They are expensive. They take a lot of time to start up and they take a lot of time to finish. So the asset pipeline solves this by combining all of your files into a single file. So instead, you could have source equals application.js. And this application will be all of these files put into one. That's the whole point of the asset pipeline. This way, we only have to ask the server for a single file instead of however many we have. So this is, what the, this is what the asset pipeline does. It allows us to say, give me one file. So to do that, automatically, it takes all your stuff and then sticks it in one file. That giant file, we call it a monolith file. This is the giant file, giant single file that you're gonna pass to the browser. So you might be wondering, what goes into this monolith file? Anything you specify inside your manifest files, all of those will go into their respective monolith files. So if inside application.js, you say require post, then the asset pipeline will know you want to stick this file inside your monolith file. So you're gonna have a bunch of these for our users, for example. And the order that you put these in is the order that they will be included in your giant monolith file. Another thing you'll see in your manifest file, you'll see require tree dot, dot means the current folder. This will require everything in your JavaScript folder. You might run into problems if you do that because there's no guarantee of ordering. So what I normally do is I get rid of that and explicitly require what I want. So keep that in mind. Sprockets, it's part of the asset pipeline. Like it's the library that handles the concatenation and all of that stuff. It's basically what powers the asset pipeline. But you don't have to worry about it because Rails sets all that up for you. Any questions about the asset pipeline?